Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming, I'm Brianna. Today we're going to be playing through part 3 of The Walking Dead, even though it's technically the beginning of chapter 2 since I split each chapter into two parts. I am so excited because I want to welcome all of the new viewers to Strange Rebel Gaming. Our little channel has grown over 11,000 new members in just the past 30 days. My mind is absolutely blown. I was so excited that I finally hit 1 million total views and now we're already halfway to 2, more than halfway to 2 million. It's just my mind is absolutely blown. Huge gratitude to you all, huge welcome to all the new viewers, and of course, Huge thank you to the new patrons. If you haven't seen my Patreon, you should definitely check it out. There's a link in the description below. You can get some awesome rewards in return for your monthly support. Now, it's very exciting that I am showing this episode of The Walking Dead today because The Walking Dead Season 3 just came out and everybody is losing their minds. I'm not there yet, but I'm very excited to play through all of these beginning episodes of The Walking Dead so that I can finally get to that brand new season, hopefully before any spoilers come my way. So take a second before we begin to hit the like button and we'll get on to the gameplay video. Enjoy. I know who you are. Oh, I got another good one for you. Ooh, I remember that. That scared me. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Poor Doug. Hey, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bit. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. <laughs> Rip Doug. Oh God. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. He and I are not friends. Yes, thank you for this reminder. That Doug is dead because of me. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not sad. We just didn't know him that long. You know what I mean? Also, that guy, uh, Sean. Yes, we saved Duck. Killed Sean. I was not happy about that. Ax him. Death to you, zombie. Alright, so it's been three months since episode one. So... I can imagine we've got some good zombie killing experience. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. We don't know who this guy still is. Still can't believe we went through all the commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. <laughs> yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Martha. I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. I'm hungry. Right now. I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night. I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Not enough. According to Lily, we just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. Oh. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having Except the kids. We are out I here? think that's right. I sure hope so. I think that's fair. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry yeah. going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Great. It's good we set the scene for that right now. Let's be, let's be fair. He's just looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. 
he needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. <laughs> I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in the room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, yeah. Flat. About that. He tried to leave us for dead so that we would get eaten by zombies, so he's not exactly my favorite person. But I'm smart, and I'm not going to let anyone know that until the vital moment. Kill it. Oh, uh, but don't make the noise. Uh, but do it. Uh, let's just let him make the choice. Stupid. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Who's it gonna be? Oh, awkward. We're just gonna have to... Wait, those aren't zombies. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just wanna help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Kiss. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. You can't chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, fucked up. You've gotta help me. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. I gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. The stakes have been raised. Have been altered. There's no release latch. Of course there isn't. Is the guy gonna... Oh, no. We're gonna chop off his leg. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm so ready to chop this guy's leg off. He'll be missing a leg. Mark, get the boys back. But he'll have his life. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Oh, God. Please save him. Can we look at it first? Look at leg. You have to get him out. You have to. Just get me out, please. All that blood and screaming. We're going to be surrounded any minute. Just leave him like this. All right. Here we go. Goodbye. Oh, let's look at it one more time, just to be sure. Just to be sure. In case something becomes obvious. Okay, let's chop it. Here we go. Chopping time. Choppity chop chop. Here we go. On the chopping block. Try the trap again. Anything. Damn it, we just cut off his fucking leg. Oh gosh, so awkward. It's not like I can do anything to the trap, so here we go. This is brutal. Do it again. Wait, I can't keep him back forever. This is so gross. Oh god. Oh god. There's so many of them. I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. Let's do it. Pick him up. Potato sack him. Let's go. Pick him up. Let's go. Shit. Is he? Come on. Passed out. Pick him up. Let's go. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Is this gonna be so awkward if I cut his leg off for nothing? If there was either an option for me to save him without cutting his leg off and I just didn't see it, Travis! that's gonna be awkward. Come on, come or, oh. on, we gotta move. Well, your dad with special forces. I think you know what to do, Travis. Oh, did you not know what to do? But your dad has special forces. Poor Travis. Hmm, that makes an interesting quandary. I wonder if there was a way for me to save the guy without cutting his leg off. I'm just curious now. Episode 2, Starved for Help. Okay, so that tells me they're going to be in desperate need of help and they're not going to get any. And also, they're probably starving. Oh, they 
there she is. There's our favorite little lady. And our weird kid, Duck. His name is Duck. You know, it's an awful lot of noise, Clem. Uh, nope, I thought I was gonna have to look around. Ooh. I like that. The use of the soccer ball in a rhythmic fashion to build tension. Very smart. We've got Very wounded. smart. Shit. Okay. What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on. My God. What happened? Oh, what's going on? Don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What, what the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking minute? Hey, what's no, your mouth? I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right, our here, group. right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. Yeah, maybe they know how to shoot birds, to unlike this like guy. Us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. Oh, you guys poor little Ben. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. I'm going to stay out of this. You've got nothing to say about that, Lee? She dropped the word Nazi, and I was like, I'm out. I'm not going to talk about this. It might feel safe for you to sit on the fence. But sooner or later, you're going to have to decide whose side you're on. Do I, I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Even she's like, bitch, please, get out of my face. Yeah, no one likes you, sir. You think this is easy for me? No. Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. I will. I will take it all. You know what? And I will eat it all. I'm not doing it tonight. There's today's food rations, but there's oh. not enough for everyone. I was kidding. Good luck. <laughs> but this is going to make um, things real difficult for me. Four food items for ten hungry people. Clem gets fed. Duck gets fed. Children get fed. Sick people? Nah. 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 Children get fed. But not the new kid. Gosh, what a good setup. You know, in choice-based games, it's really important that they actually set you up to make good choices, or to make tough choices, because that's the point of the game. If you're just making choices that anybody would make, then it's, like, not a really good game. But uh, I like this, this choice thing. I like having to decide who gets to... Fe I mean, I don't like it. I don't like having to make a hard choice, but it's a good good game thing. You know, a lot of the people um, that commented on Stay. either hold up episode Just 1 or episode 2 place. mentioned that, because I had mentioned a couple times where the gameplay was a little rough, the graphics are really not even great for when this did come out, which was quite a while ago, but they all said, stick it out because the story gets better in subsequent episodes and seasons and I can already tell that that's happening with the opening 
being really well crafted to set the tone and with um the first first scene was chop this guy's leg off it's really brutal and gross you know that's a really good way to get people involved in the very beginning he's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty and then it continues with the the board steady i'm trying i i didn't realize i was getting this weak already what do you want a handout uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up, quit being such a pansy. <laughs> uh, I hate him. <laughs> but he does make me laugh. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, and then it got even better with the soccer ball scene. I loved that moment. I loved how they used that to build tension. Just good choices. Good story cho- choices. So I'm, I'm happy so far. Something to keep them occupied. Okay, so kids eat first, no question about that, except new kid. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Claire. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Here's some food, Clem. Hey, Clem. You need something to eat. Hmm. Hmm. Protein. Carbs. And crackers and cheese, probably processed, probably really high in sugar, or half an apple high in natural sugar, but ultimately not a ton of nutritional value. I'm going to go with the... But, you know, she's a kid, so I'm going to go with crackers. I don't want to select the wrong number on accident. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Clever, child. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry, too. Yeah, yeah I'm going to have to feed Duck. Some food. I mean, I don't like you, Duck, but I chose to save you and everything, so now i got to run keep you alive. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? You, too, get crackers. Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! Who else? I think... It'll be good to have Kenny on my side, but let's just talk to him first. See what's up. Be like, hey, Word's Kenny. That you want to leave Sorry, I just can't pick that sides. Secretly, it's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome I did to that. come with us. Hmm. We're stronger together, I think. Also, I've invested in this relationship, so I really want it to pay off for me. We need you here. I'm we really not this selfish, but you know, Our survival. Our best chance of surviving is to get away from the mainland. My mind is made up. All right. Bye. I have an apple and I have jerky. Now, Harry Potter, and I want you all to know who I'm talking about when I say that. I call. Um, this man Harry Potter because I forgot his name already oh Mark okay we're gonna call him Harry Potter though because he looks like he has a snitch on his back of his jacket and also he has glasses and dark hair and blue eyes just like Daniel Radcliffe so I think probably he's just gonna be known as Harry Potter from now on even though in the books Harry Potter has green eyes let's not forget that like his mom <laughs> I could feed Carly, I could feed Kenny. It doesn't look like I can go anywhere else to feed. It's like, I can't, I wonder if I just go around the RV. Should I feed Ration Lady? Lily is her name? No, I can't go that way. Can't. Okay, so these are my options. Katya, should I feed the person trying to it said 10 people, right? Katja, Kenny, Duck, Clem, Carly, Harry Potter, Jerk. That's only eight people. 
10 hungry people, four food items, but I only count seven people. Let's talk to Katya. What's going on, Katya? Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Yeah, what you need? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You bet. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Blake, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Always. Yeah. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. All right. She doesn't look like she needs food. Harry Potter said he was weak, so I'm just going to go ahead and feed him with some beef jerky so that he can provide security for the arena. Also, Lily dropped a mention that he was let in because it was his food to begin with, so I feel like he should get to eat some of it at least. Here. Look at him, he looks just like Harry Potter. You can have a jerky. Oops! You, got you, now. you can have an apple, because wow. I pressed the wrong number. Thanks a lot, that's, that's awesome. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, I mind. You yeah, cannot you have my axe. Like no. Sorry. Uh-uh. That is my weapon of choice. No. Oh, I can only choose two things. Ugh. Here, Mark. This should help. Thanks. I'm going to hey, regret I'm that. I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? You're the Come one on. being a jackass all Cut the time. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. No, you're always cranky. There is one piece of food left. Oh, definitely keeping it for myself. Oh, that is so not fair. I really shouldn't keep it for myself. Oh, but... Well, you know, I can't die. Because I'm the character. So... Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones who need it. It's true. Alright, who gets the last piece of food? Let's give it to Carly. Because for some reason, people tend to like her. Even though... Bitch doesn't know what batteries are. So... Yeah. Okay. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last Thanks, time you Thanks, Carly. I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me. Wow, good, of Doug, good guy, Carly, over you, there. Carly. She's like, I won't take this. All right, Carly, that's nice of you. What's up, Ben? Let me talk to you. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? You said he was your teacher. But Kaja will do her best. I promise. So with that. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. Really, no you can't way. believe that? So who are you people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. What a name, Ben Parker, Paul. The band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when, when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of, I don't know, something. You'll be prepared next time. Next time? Yeah. Oh, there will be a next time. Goodbye, sir. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Okay, so I don't want to give it to Kenny or Katja because they're leaving, so I don't need to invest in that. Carly won't take it. I fed all the kids. So all there is left is uh, Frankie McJerkyson. 
And I don't really want to feed him. Oh, sorry, Larry. <laughs> Why do I think his name is Frank? Who am I? Um, I don't really want to feed him. So I would rather keep it for myself. But I don't know how to do that dialogue unless... I don't know how to open that dialogue option back up until I talk to him. So I feel like I gotta talk to him. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Stuff all that. We'd be Stuff fine without that. you. Okay, I regret everything. Goodbye. Keep up on that fence. Don't tell me what to do, Lee. Are they trying to make me hate him so badly that they're gonna turn it around and make me like him at some point? Because... Holy guacamole. Alright, I guess I'll feed you. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there All is no food. All we need is you food. You know that better than anyone. Do, 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 well, we'll just have to find some. Yeah, we will. Here's some food, yeah. awful human. I don't want anything from you. What did I do to deserve that? Why is everybody being so mean? Probably because they're starving. Fine. You will soon learn that there is no place for stubbornness in a zombie apocalypse, Missy. So, how do I keep this for myself once again? Hmm. 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 I guess we could give it to the woman. She's probably my next only option. Here, eat some. Because I can't figure out how to save it for myself Why don't anymore. You give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right my, now. My mess. My I mess. Need okay, this is not going well at all. I already fed Duck. I guess I could give it to Kenny. But maybe she just doesn't like beef jerky possible I guess if I have to I can feed Ben but I don't want to piss everybody off want something to eat here Kenny take this how about my boy he eat yet yes he did yeah, I gave him something sure then hand it over I'm starved thanks the others noticed I fed Kenny. Listen, I fed... I tried to feed everyone else first. Lily was stubborn, That's refused such an it. Easy job, is it. Never said it was. That's a good point. I never did. What is that empty chair for? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Like me, You're I'm not out. happy with my choices. What happened to my food? This, this guy left. again. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. I only see Harry Potter working on it. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? Oh, God. He lost too much blood. Aww, God rip. It. I'm getting sick of this shit. What a waste. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. <sighs> what? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That scared the shit out of me! Whoa! Oh my god! Whoa! 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 
Oh boy. Oh boy. What did I do? Kick him! I, I'm just, I'm pressing all these buttons. I don't even know what's the right button to press. I was pressing it. Maybe I have to hold S. Okay, I was, I was, I was spamming it, but maybe I'll just hold it. I'm dead. Yeah, clearly. Stuck. Okay. Kick him. Kick him. I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Kick him. And kick him. Okay, and now use the S key to back away. I'm holding it instead of spamming it this time. Doesn't protect his own freaking fall. Sorry, I'm just really high tension right now. It really scared me. It happened so fast. Golly. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Woo! Why'd you bring him here in the first place? I'm gonna freaking punch Dad, you. Down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, here's a good reveal. It's not the bite that does it. This was amazing in the show. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. Okay, but, uh, they were honest. That's a start. Here. Yeah, I know. Why I know do you need do. gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We Pretty desperate here. Dairy. Pretty desperate on food, sir. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Cool with that. Cool so, with that. So, uh, what do y'all think? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. We'll so see how this goes. Scary. I'm nervous. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for it, Lita? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Looking at you, Frank, whose name is actually Larry. Doesn't matter. You've got to let go of that guilt. The Lee I know is a good man. Clementine knows. He was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Clementine knows. Ask me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? We're just gonna make a precedent here that we're not gonna talk about. It. Just it was kidding. An accident. We're yeah, gonna talk about I pretty it. Pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. It's true. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. 
It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God, okay, Lee. Okay, Carly. Yeah. Okay. Right, Lee. Yeah. Why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I'm over around a lot. Yeah. Let's I'll not really like give this. them any like I fine details about our life. The dairy I don't really trust the them yet. They all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? They're asking a lot of questions. I don't know about this. Well, the kid here is our newest arrival. But we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all Heck out yeah, I avoided there. that question. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Okay. Things are going awry oh, now. You out of anything. You and Gary are always Fuck pulling this shit. And it's... Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it there's off There's only two Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> That's a lot of noise. You. Jesus. We gotta get out of this area. Pronto. The world out here has gone to shit. Prompto. Come on. Let's get to the dairy where it's safe. For some reason thinks the dairy is safe. Go loot that corpse. Take his gun. Survival. He's dead. His stuff could help us live. I don't know. Don't look at me. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. That doesn't look Let's very safe to me. You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. Just wondering what happens volts when the electricity Generators comes out. Amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mom. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He moves around a lot, but things the way they are, maybe we can convince him to stick around for a while. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll Just make sure you're safe and safe. I don't know how I feel about giving them so many answers. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's that right. Biscuits? Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. Harry Potter, you just ruined oh, everything. Man. Oh my. Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Can you Wait, calm the I'm F down, this. HP? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round Something up about the this makes me feel real bad. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. 
Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry Ew. and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. Hmm. Gotcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? I don't know how I feel right about this. Fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Listen, I know what happens. I've watched The Walking Dead. Every time that something good happens, something bad, something even worse happens directly after. That's how to move the plot forward, but it makes me very anxious. So now, every time something good happens, I'm like, this can't last forever, and I can't even enjoy it. See? You see what this TV show's done to me? I didn't read the comics. I know this is based off the comics. Let's make sure the place is safe. We should do whatever we can to help out. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Truth. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see. Yet. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Well, you know, Harry Potter could just protego Maxima, and then it's done. Right? Right? Okay. Let's see what let's see what Mark has to say. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I haven't found anything out yet. All right. Keep me posted. Keep you posted while you're posted up on that post. Post. Pointy. Pointy, but not stabby. But they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If a couple of tools out of the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. Yeah, all you had was your axe, but now your axe is stuck in a truck. You got nothing, sir. How's that gonna go for you? Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are really well decided on. yet. Been stockpiling, huh? No one fucks with us. That answer is the winner yeah, automatically. No one tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. Well, protecting your people is important, but in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking hmm. for the people they lost Wonder contact why. with. Wonder why. I'm gonna get to know the place for a minute. Okay, well, we gotta secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. I will take as long as I want, sir. Looks I'm gonna like look at this generator. General. I'm gonna look at you it with my eyes. Gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Oh, okay. So the generator is extremely unreliable, and you've already been having trouble with it. Hmm, that doesn't bode well, does it? Does it? Oh, I guess we're going up here. I didn't finish looking around, but okay. Can we go in the house? We can go in the house. Let's look around first. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? Apparently. This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Uh-huh. Goodbye. Interesting. Okay, okay. Still doesn't really help me trust him, but we're definitely going to check this out. What do we have here? 
Everything in here looks safe. And now I know where to find some rope in case they need help tying anything down. That seems like something to note. He was like, oh look, some rope. Just in case. <laughs> that definitely seems like a little bit of a hint. Look at plants. Oh, I love mm, plants. Fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Dang. I have a pot roast cooking right now, and I'm excited for dinner. I am so hungry. I guess we'll go in the front door. Oh, I guess not. We're just going to talk. Oh, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. Okay, sounds but like... But check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband I didn't notice. To Your son told me. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lou. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. Mm-hmm. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was why were they not safe i'm just curious when will dinner be ready yes when it'll will dinner be ready but it'd be worth it trust me because i'm hungry how's your family been holding up since uh you know all my boys have been my saving grace they both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening i think it was hardest on family Dan was always more of a mama's boy. Mm -hmm. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> well, if okay. anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Gosh, I want to like them. I really want to trust them. I just, uh, something about it. I just can't. I just don't. It just is one of those things that it just totally seems too good to be true. For real. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Let's take a look at that broken swing. What happened here? Too swing? What cool. can you tell me? I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. How did it break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. I don't know how important a swing is to survival, so I don't know about that. But, remember, we know exactly where to find some rope. He was like, Ah, uh, look! Some rope. Just in case we need rope. And now we know what the rope is for. Alright, cool. So, that's done. All right, I think we've seen all that there is to see here. Where'd Mark go? Well, hey, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. What is this? Look at swing? No, we don't need to do that. Um, oh, hi, Mark. Who knows where that's from? Name the quote. Oh, I do have my axe. JK. I thought I didn't, but I do. Use gate. Oh, I guess I can just straight up leave. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? What do you got hiding in the barn? Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, hmm. we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. That sounds Sounds awfully suspicious, wouldn't you say? Let's go, let's go Hi. secure the perimeter. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. Fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generator. Yeah, let us look around alone. That'd be great. 
I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Huh. So, he could just be using us to clear the fence in a way that he cannot, or he trusts us enough to check the perimeter of the fence all by ourselves. I don't know. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such Besides a pain Larry. in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry. All right. We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. Doubtful. He's just an awful old man. There's one. Where'd that arrow come from? Ugh. Lee, it's dead. You sure? Come on, let's push it. That up. arrow looks like it's in the neck. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. That's suspicious. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know who got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. See, that's the thing that makes me question. From what I know of the show, which of course isn't much, you need to get him in the head to kill them. Like, you have to get him in the head to kill, like the brain to kill him. If you don't do that, if they're just fried, then it's very possible it could still be alive. So, it doesn't look like the fence would actually kill them. I don't know. Who do you think he was? It doesn't matter. He did now. All right, push zombie or pull arrow? I think pull arrow so that we have a weapon immediately in our hand if zombie comes to life. That's what I think. Disgusting. All right, let's do it. Shove. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. All right, that was highly uneventful. Up, I thought for sure fortress. something was going on there. Uh, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. Thank you, Harry. There's another one. I see it. Stab him with an arrow. All right. Only option here is to push him. Oh, awkward. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Ooh, yucky. Ugh. Ooh, gross. Ooh, gross again. You never get used to the smell, do you? No. <laughs> nope. No, yuck, yuck, yuck. Christ. Yuckity yuck. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Same. So Thanks hungry. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. Is it making you hungry that all I keep talking about is food? I'm definitely hungry, I'm hungry too. too Mark. Do you think they're going to be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If I don't know. It do doesn't sound say, right. I think so. Why would they do that, though? That's Come my on. question. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on! What? Oh.
I'll try to spam quietly. I know how annoying it is Holy to hear fuck. it in the mic. What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. <gasps> I knew it! I freaking called it! Oh, I called it! Traitors! Those bandits! I knew it! Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out! That gate is our only way out? Alright, here we go. It's not working. The blades are stuck in the dirt. Blades are stuck in the dirt. Get rid of the blades. Woo! Woo! Now go. Go, go, go. Now what? Put it in neutral. No fuel. Of course. Mm. Now what do we do? Ah, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit, that hurts. Wow, this is really high tension. I love it. This is pretty unique. Smart. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move him. Gonna have to move him? Why do they keep saying we had an agreement? Who are they talking to? We didn't have an agreement with them. So do they think that we're the brothers and... Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Three, literally. Stupid. So, just thinking... Oh, I knew it was alive! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Kill it! Axe it! Axe it! Oh, 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 oh. You okay? Yeah. Fair. Come on. The gate's right there. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, maybe the brothers knew this was going to happen and tried to get us killed off by doing this. Um. By having us check the perimeter, maybe? I don't know. I'm confused. Maybe the brothers turned on the fence because what? Because they knew the bandits were coming, Wait, or what's wrong? The electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit! Are are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord! No. What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, Mama? Yeah. The electric fence right came on God first, it didn't it? Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my God, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What a question. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food All for right, protection. that's the agreement. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Ah, it's racketeering. This place was locked down tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of So they're away. trying you to trade protection. Are? They're hard to pin The brothers down. don't want to keep feeding the bandits, the so they're trying you know to get us to take care of the bandits for them. Camp. Come find us. That's what it sounds like to me. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. 
I think I gotta make this decision, don't I? A couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, 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 there, whoa Rambo. Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah. Do that's ya? Real charming, Dad. Do ya? Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Okay. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? With yeah. bandits around? That doesn't Anytime. sound safe at all! We're looking out for you. Seems like faulty trust to me. Gas cans. Alright, now I, I gotta try and do some investigatory work here and see if They're storing gasoline all over the front. One of the brothers turned the fence on on purpose. I gotta find out. No mail coming in or out these days. Wow, so I don't have useful. To worry about bill collectors anymore. Wow, I'm really glad I checked that. So glad. Go check the outlet, sir. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. Yeah, it's a little janky for sure. Use gate, definitely not yet. A generator. Useless. If a couple of tools out of the open is as unsafe I already as it saw gets, that. we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. Yep, yep, I already saw that. Let's take a look at this electrified fence right there, Chief. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Lucky or smart? That is the question. Well, friends, I think I'll end today's episode there. I am highly suspicious of everything going on in these suspicious circumstances. So I'm definitely feeling some tension, but I'm also definitely feeling like this this episode is a huge step up from episode one, I, which I'm pretty excited about. There are definitely some moments that I'm watching and I'm like, yeah, that's really cool. That's, that's definitely a, a good direction for them to be going. I feel like they've really starting to allow themselves to get creative with this episode. And so that just makes me all the more excited to keep playing all the way through to season three, which comes out today, oddly enough. So... Yep, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. Be generous. And don't forget to subscribe to Strange Rebel Gaming and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next episode. Whether that be a Tomb Raider or a Final Fantasy or a Q&A or what am I doing with my hands? Why do I always do weird things in my outros? I don't know. What should I do? This? That's all. I love you guys. Bye!